Hello, small mobile fans. Happy day to you all. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. Remember to stay safe and wash your hands. All will be well soon. The Techno Camo series has always been known for its good camera performance, and the new Camo 15 series takes it a few steps further in the camera department, especially with the launch of the Camo 15 Premiere that comes with a large 64 megapixel camera combined with the industry leading 64 megapixel Sony. IMX CCC sensor to produce a premium world-class camera quality in its price range. The 14 megapixel camera in the other Camo 15 series is also a big upgrade. With the inclusion of Techno's AI vision lens, Tivos, the super nice mode shots has been improved. Within this camera upgrade excitement, there are some few setbacks in the Camo 15 series that may make you look elsewhere. The Camo 15 series is kind of a worthy upgrade from last year's Camo 12 series in terms of camera, design, storage, processor, screen resolution, and new iOS 6 customizations. Starting with the Camo 15 Air, it is nice that Techno upgraded to a large 48 megapixel camera, but the Helio A25 octa-core processor upgrade is only able to process up to 16 megapixel image which limits the quality you get from the upscaled 40 megapixel shots. Although the ultra wide angle lens has been removed, there is still a macro lens but with a reduced 2 megapixel quality. The Camo 15 Air retains the 8 megapixel selfie camera but the front flash has been added to improve night photography. Unfortunately, there is no super night mode in the Camo 15 Air but the quad rear flashes will help out a little. Overall, we are getting a better image quality than the Camo 12 Air. Techno still retains the 3GB RAM size and it is good that Techno used a larger 64GB storage so that there is a reasonable space to store the large 48 megapixel image size. There is not much improvement in the display, still a 6.6 inches HD plus resolution display, but the Android 10 software brings the dark mode upgrade. It is nice that Techno upgraded to a 5000 mAh battery size to cater for the extra load from the new octa-core processor to give an overall battery life similar to the 4000 mAh quad-core Camon 12 Air. Next is the Camon 15 which I believe many people will prefer to buy because of the better value it brings for the price. In comparison with the Camon 15 Air, the Camon 15 has a slightly better 48 megapixel camera quality thanks to the Aya Helio P22 processor which supports up to 21 megapixel image signal processing. But the lack of a true Samsung or Sony 48 megapixel sensor will limit the final output. Overall, the 48 megapixel camera is a big upgrade from the 16 megapixel in Camon 12. There is super nice mode technology for better night photography. The Camon 15 also retains the 16 megapixel selfie camera and a front flash to improve night photos. There is no ultra wide angle lens and the macro camera quality has been reduced to a 2 megapixel lens. The 5000 mAh battery upgrade will add about 2 hours extra screen on time to the Camo 15, but sadly, there is no fast charging. There is also no much improvement in the display, but there is dark mode thanks to the Android 10 upgrade. It is also nice that Techno retained the 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. The Camo 15 Premiere and Camo 15 Pro brings a whole new design to the Camo series with a motorized pop-up camera designed with free fall protection which has same 32 megapixel lens like the Camon 12 Pro but sadly the dual front flashes have been removed the only difference between them is the large 48 megapixel camera lens with no true Samsung or Sony 48 megapixel sensor in the Camon 15 Pro and the larger 64 megapixel camera lens with the true Sony IMX 6 64 megapixel ISP sensor in the Camo 15 Premiere. I really appreciate Techno for stepping up and using the flagship Sony 64 megapixel sensor, but the Helio P35 processor supports up to 25 megapixel image signal processing, and so it reduces and limits the overall final quality of both the 48 megapixel and 64 megapixel images. There's no cause for alarm because at the end of the day, you will still get good detailed shots far better than the Camon 12 Pro. The ultra wide angle and macro lens is still retained but now with a reduced 5 megapixel shooter. 
It is nice that Techno is giving us the Super Night Mode experience with the help of their new AI technology called Tivos. This is their first step in bringing the ultra clear night photography and I hope it works fine. We definitely test the night mode quality in my full review. Can you subscribe to find out? The Comma 15 Pro and Comma 15 Premier have a full HD 1080p display, which is a nice upgrade from the Comma 12 Pro, but they have gotten rid of the amazing AMOLED panel and downgraded to an IPS LCD panel, which prevents them from using an in display fingerprint sensor and it also defeats the battery saving purpose of the dark mode in the Android 10. This will be a deal breaker, but the 1080p resolution upgrade might console or cheer you up. The 4000 mAh battery upgrade is nice, but the absence of USB Type-C ports and lack of a faster charger is quite disappointing, especially in this highly competitive market. Looking forward to what techno we offer in the Phantom 10. The 6GB RAM and 128GB storage upgrade in the Pro and Premier versions are pretty awesome, but I will be testing the performance of the RAM optimization in my full review. Stay tuned for that. Concerning the pricing, here are all the prices of the Camo 15 series. I know that some of you might be disappointed with the price value of the Camo 15 Pro and Camo 15 Premier, but Techno is offering us a large 48MP quad camera, a larger 64MP quad camera, the expensive Sony AMX686 64MP sensor, a 32MP motorized pop-up camera, a big 4000mAh battery, a 1080p Full HD display, 6GB RAM and 128GB storage. I admit that the Helio P35 processor is a deal breaker at this price, but Techno should have thrown in the USB Type-C port, an 18W charger and Corning Gorilla Glass 5 to comfort and cheer us up so that we can overlook the Helio P35. But bear in mind that the Helio P35 processor is actually a good processor. I would love to know what you guys think about these pricings. Also let me know which of the Camo 15 series you are buying. The most important upgrades to me are the 48MP quad camera, the larger 64MP quad camera with the Sony IMX686 sensor and finally the pop-up camera. Thanks so much for watching, kindly subscribe and turn post notification on to be the first to see my full review when I get the Camo 15. Talk to you in my next video, remain humble, stay safe, bye. Favorite camera phone. Techno.